Hey, thanks for watching. I'm your iGadget lady, and I do the research so you don't have to. Today, I'm going to show you how to easily transfer photos from your iPhone or your iPad directly to your PC. So stick with me. Now to transfer your photos or videos directly to your PC, follow these steps. Now, if you need to do this on a Mac, I've already done a tutorial for that, so I'll leave a link below if you need to uh, directions on how to do this with a Mac. But I'm gonna show you how to do this on a PC. Right now I'm using Windows 10, the new Windows, but it pretty much works the same whichever version of Windows you're using. First thing you wanna do, plug in your iPhone using the USB cord. I'll do that right now. If this is the first time you've done that, right down in here, you're gonna get a message and it'll ask you what you want to happen every time you plug this device in. For me, I chose that I want it to open up the file so that I could see what's on my iPhone. I'll show you another easy way to access the folder or your iPhone. Click here, click File Explorer. Now you'll see that your iPhone is right here, so you wanna click on that. On your iPhone as well, when you connect it, you're gonna get a, a pop-up message. It's gonna ask you, allow this device to access photos and videos, and you wanna click Allow. After you've done that, go ahead and double click on internal storage. You're gonna see this folder called DCIM, double click that. Now I've got two folders here, one says 100 Apple and one says 101 Apple. These are storing my photos, videos, and any other images that I have. I've got quite a few, so it's stored them in two separate folders. Let's go ahead and open this one. After it loads all of your photos, you'll see all of your photos lined up similar to this. Let me get rid of that folder. I'm gonna go through from scratch and show you exactly how I do this. First of all, to you can uh, store these either on your PC directly or you can use an external hard drive. My choice usually is to use an external hard drive, but I'll show you how to do both right here. Right click on your desktop, scroll down to new, create a new folder. I'm just gonna title this one photos. You can take your photos from your iPhone either one by one, click, and drag it over. Or you can do multiple photos at one time. Now if you want all of them in order, just click that first photo there, hit your shift button, and click the last photo where you want it to end. And then you'll drag those over. Or if you have individual photos, that aren't in order, you wanna click Control. So I'll hit this first photo, and then say I want that third photo. Keep your finger on that Control, and click you know, just the different photos you want. So that way, again, you don't have to keep them in any specific order. Once you're finished, you wanna just drag them all over like that. So that's it's that simple. That's how you take them directly from your um, iPhone or your iPad and get those photos onto your PC. Now, if you've got an external drive, just go ahead and hook up your external drive. Let me do that real quick. I've just hooked up my external drive and you'll see it right here, Passport E. Now, you do the same thing. I've got one entitled Movies there. Right click, click New folder, again, photos, and I'll put these open in two separate windows. 
to do that, just right click on Apple iPhone and click open a new window. So now you can access both of these at the same time. You'll follow the same steps, internal storage, DCIM, Apple, let it load your photos. And it's the same thing if you wanna get, again, just one by one, take that photo, drag it over there to photos. Multiple photos, again, click that first one, hit shift and select the last one. And again, drag them straight over to photos right there. That's how you do it. So that's how you transfer your photos either from your uh, iPhone or iPad directly to your PC, or you can use it on an external drive as well. I hope this helped you. And if it did, please hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep bringing you more videos just like this. Thanks for watching. Just a reminder, you'll never miss a tip when you subscribe to the My Apple Gadgets newsletter. It's free. I'll leave you a link below. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.